Hello everyone and welcome to my channel update for March 2018. It's been a while since I've done one of these, hasn't it? I think the last one I did was in December. <clears throat> well, that's basically because there hasn't been anything new going on in regards to my channel. And really there still isn't, nothing major anyway. But it's been so long and things are going to be changing a tiny bit very soon, probably. So I wanted to just let you all know about that. What are the changes? Well, mainly it will be me going on a temporary break from YouTube following the birth of my baby, which is in just a couple weeks. Yes, the day is finally upon us and I am so ready. <laughs> And naturally, I'll need some time off after the birth to rest and recover, so I won't be doing anything game-related for two or three weeks after the birth at least, probably. But once I get back on my feet and into the swing of things, I'll start recording videos again. And then I will continue with my current upload schedule of one Let's Play video a week. And for those of you who are curious about my build videos, since I'm sure I'll get questions if I don't mention it, I'm still picking away at finishing my old builds. Um, I'm nearly finished with decorating the Brotherhood of Steel Fortress. I haven't been working on it as much as I'd like the last couple weeks because I've just been too exhausted from my pregnancy. So, I don't know if I'll manage to finish it before the baby is born or not. I hope I can. But if not, I'll for sure finish it after my break, and then I'll record the tour. After that, I will move on to finish decorating the Nordhagen Village build and recording that tour. And once those two old builds are finally finished, then I will continue work on the Underground Railroad Base build. Um, I'll be uploading fairly regular build videos for that. And uh, as for a timeline of when all this stuff happens, I can't really say. It really just depends on how long it takes to complete each one. Just, just know that I am working on it and, it and we'll get there eventually. Okay, so also after my maternity break, if I'm able to, we'll have to wait and see what life allows me with a new baby. <laughs> but I'm hoping to start making more regular Fallout 4 build videos and even tips and tricks videos once again. I miss making them, actually. And I think from your various comments that you guys miss them too. So <laughs> I'm taking that into consideration. It's on the table anyway. But like I said, life with a new baby can be unpredictable, so I'll have to be flexible about it. I'm sure you guys understand. And now for a little bit of discussion about future games I'd like to feature on my channel. Of course, I have to wait until one of my current Let's Plays is finished before I start a new game. And the one that is closest to being finished, I think, is Horizon Zero Dawn. I'd really like to get that one wrapped up. And when it is, I'll probably start playing Uncharted Lost Legacy. I've had that game collecting dust on my shelf since it came out months ago, and I haven't even taken the wrapper off yet. <laughs> I wanted to do a blind let's play of it, so I've restrained myself from taking a peek all this time. And uh, that probably won't be a very long let's play. I'm not sure how long the game is, but since it's a linear game, it will take, well, however long it takes. And it seems to me it's a little shorter than Uncharted 4. I may be wrong about that, but it's what I remember hearing. So, it won't be anywhere near as many episodes as Horizon Zero Dawn. Which is fine with me, because then it opens up more space sooner to do more games. Which is a good thing. <laughs> um, another let's play that is close to being finished is my Fallout 4 Chapter 2, which is the Far Harbor DLC. And I plan on ending Chapter 2 once I'm finished with the DLC. And then I will take a break from the Shane let's play before starting Chapter 3, which will be the Nuka World DLC. I'm going to be taking a break from it because I want to play other games. Um, I'm not sure what game will replace Fallout 4 at the moment since it depends on what games are out by then. But I've been entertaining the idea of trying out Kingdom Come Deliverance 
I've watched some gameplay of it and it looks like the kind of game I could really get into since I'm all about realism and immersion. However, I'm not sure if it would be a good game to let's play since it is quite time consuming in areas. Um, I would probably have to edit out a lot of repetitive stuff, but maybe not. Who knows? Um, I would love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments. Uh, do you guys think it would be a good game to let's play? Have you played it or watched others play it? Maybe I should just give it a go and see what happens. Are you guys even interested in the game at all? Are you curious to see me make a fool of myself playing it? <laughs> because you know I will. <laughs> Anyway, so far that's all the ideas I have for new games to play. To tell you the truth, I've been too busy lately to keep up on what new games are out, so if you have suggestions for games you think I'd be interested in that have recently come out or are coming out this year, leave them down in the comments and I'll consider them. Of course, I only have time to play so many games on my channel, so I won't be able to play everything, but it's nice to know my options anyway. Now, another quick thing I'd like to mention uh, not really related to games, but my channel in general. Um, if you haven't discovered it already, is that I've recently started using the YouTube Community tab feature to communicate with you guys more regularly. I've always encouraged my viewers to follow me on Facebook or Twitter to keep the most up to date on what's going on with me and my channel. And of course, I still encourage you to do so, but uh, for various reasons, most of you don't actually follow me on social media, which is fine. But you guys just miss out on quick updates and stuff that I share there. Um, so the YouTube community tab is a fairly new feature that I just recently started using. Uh, I know a lot of you have been seeing my posts on there and commenting. Many of you said that you get notifications when I post there, so that's good. I'm not sure if all of you get notifications though, so you may have to click the bell icon on my channel page in order to get notifications when I post in the community tab. So, if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, be sure to click the bell icon. Um, you can also just go straight to the community tab on my main channel page to see if I've posted anything new there. And uh, the kinds of things I post on there will be quick channel updates, such as news about upcoming special videos, or if I'm having technical difficulties or other delays in my upload schedule, things like that. <clears throat> um, I'll be letting you guys know when I go on breaks or <clears throat> you know, whatever. And of course, I will also be announcing the birth of my baby on there very soon. <laughs> so I just like to keep you all in the loop about what's going on with me and my channel. And the community tab is where I'm going to be doing most of that from now on. I will still be posting on Facebook and Twitter, of course. And I always encourage you to follow me on those platforms anyway, since I post and share things there that I won't post on the community tab. Things not directly related to my channel, but just gaming in general. So, and of course you can find all of the links for those down in the description. So I think that's about it for this channel update. It's a short one, but yeah, just not a lot has been going on lately. So, but I just wanted to tell you guys this little bit of stuff and uh, please leave your comments and suggestions down below. And if you are interested in supporting my channel, you can visit my Patreon page via the link in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, as always, play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.